Hope she don't start crying because I miss it. Oh wow, that's a good deal. Cause they, cause one of them they regularly was thirty dollars, so they thirty-seven, thirty-three. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good deal. Oh yeah, we try to go to Dollar Tree and get some box tissue. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, okay, I don't have a. Have you got a fifty on you or something? I got twenty. Okay, Am is a hundred too big. Right now, it's time of night. Okay. Some of the money, mother, I think it fell out my, in my, oh, there it go. Some of the money fell out in my purse. That's what happened. I was like, I know I ain't missing no money. Because when I gave, uh, when I paid the car, uh, the car insurance, mm -hmm. the car insurance. Yes. And I put it uh, in a drop box in the bank. I knew I had more than that. Oh, there you go. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Have a good thank night. Thank you. You too, ma'am. What time are you open in the morning? 10. 10 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Maybe while I'm out in the field, I might be able to stop at a Macy's. Because mm -hmm. I was, I really was planning on it, man. Counting on. You sure you don't want to go dive a chocolate? Oh, I'm sure. Okay. I got the cutest little, but you know what? That bodysuit that I had on the other day, that black one? Yeah. The newest one? Mm-hmm. It, it got a little tear in the top, and by me having on a black sports bra that day, mm -hmm. I couldn't tell it till I took it off to put it in a dirty clothes hamper. Yes. And then when I washed it on Delicate, and I said, well, you know what? Tonight while I'm just sitting there, I'm going to sew it. Because I, it's small, but guess mm -hmm. what? As much as I've been eating, I have to, I, I see I can't wear it when I get thicker. That I have to wear medium. That's why I was trying to show you when you was buying me clothes. I wasn't being mean. I was saying, like this right here. This is small, right? Mm -hmm. Now, three weeks ago, this would be perfect for me, right? Oh, yeah. This would be perfect. I could fit this. Oh, yeah. But guess what? I can't fit it this way because I, I, I'm, I'm retaining water. I've been eating a lot of salt. And my weight goes up and down with it. Why are you telling me I need to gain 10 pounds? And that really insulted me, Mom. Seriously. That really insulted me. You tell me I need to gain 10 pounds. Where? How am I so skinny? I am not skinny. But we about to leave Macy's. I love my husband to understand me and let me get what I want. I love body stuff. Hey y'all, I'ma be funny. I'ma be, I'ma be funny. It's just one, but all, it's three fat people. Now, I don't make fat jokes because I was never that big, but look at all that. This is, but it's all this fat acceptance. So the only thing they probably bought out of there was some sheets and pillowcases, uh, some shoes, some perfume, lotion, makeup. Oh, no, the makeup, well, Dolce & Gabbana was open and the mother makeup counters, but MAC wasn't open. I said, I said, Jeffree Star was open. I should have went to them. Cause I, 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 I messed with Jeffree Star, but I'm just hooked on MAC because I like the way um, the foundation, MAC foundation only costs like the powder is like 33. The powder, who wants to wear powder for, you know, in the summer? But it does, like, oh my, oh baby, look, my sh my heel got in the, I was trying to keep my heel from getting in the dog on mud. I was trying to keep that from happening. I hate when my heels get in the mud, and I don't even have on no those stilettos, but I am, baby, I would be walking, y'all would not be seeing me tipping around now. I would be having on my, my burgundy house shoes, my children, with my son-in-law, I mean, my daughter-in-law my son gave me for Christmas. I love them house shoes. I carry them with me in my bag to church all the time. Baby, y'all want to go to Dollar Tree now? Yeah. Oh, my God, I love these. Look at my pretty little, oh, and I, man, I got, oh, I don't know which one I should wear. I'm waiting for a warm day, and I like that my job. I can wear what I want. But I'll probably wear my jean jacket with that. But look at this bodysuit. It is so cute. And I love bodysuits that snap in the what in the in the crotch. I love them. This is now this is black and white. That's Masonic colors. Um but this one, oh my god. Look at this. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. No, I'm just talking. Remember that song? I like it. Look at the color, ladies. Look. You men, I ain't trying to let y'all see. I mean, because y'all men don't get excited like us women. But the back, look at, look, ladies. Look. You can get it at Macy's. It's, it's called, it's um, the Material Girl brand. I got it in medium. 
I don't know what size you wear, but I did not see any large. So if they had had a large, I would have went for large because you know how some manufacturers, it could be large and still can run small. But though their smalls ran, look like a like a size zero. Uh uh. I may be small at the top and got a little waistline and flat stomach, but and and I ain't saying my butt's so big because it ain't that big. But and I don't want to buy. No, look, and they thirty. They originally thirty some dollars a piece. Guess what? How much she charged me, baby, for both? It was. They was twenty five percent off, and then thirty something between off. I yep. paid thirty thirty three. Yeah. Thirty something. I got sixty some dollar change back out of a hundred dollar bill. That's it's Macy's man. I love the clearance section, and that wasn't a clearance section. It was just a nice sale. I'm gonna do like my daughter-in-law and join the family and friends. My my daughter-in-law be like, "Mom, you can use my car." Man, I need to join up. Damn, let me going past the theater. I need. I feel like going to the movies. Look, he'll probably want to go. Huh? There ain't no movie out that I want to see. What they got, baby, on here? And then I don't broadcast where we at. We have to go somewhere else, baby, because uh, my fans will be trying to charge me and trying to run up on me because somebody said she was gonna whoop my butt. Girl, I ain't scared. The, I, I'm covered under the blood of Jesus, under Yahshua. This chick right here can get a prayer through. You want me to pray for you? I'll get a prayer through. You want a job? Ask me to pray for you. When I pray, you got to go in repentance first. Forgiveness, all that. You got to forgive all that you're holding. In. But I'm telling you, I go boldly before God. And I enter into the Holy of Holies and I go into that throne room where he sit, where Jesus on the right hand making intercession. Man, when I go there, we was praying for our son the other night. A stepfather, a biological father, and a mother, a triangle. I started to call his sister. I said, no, he was just meant for us. My son called me within 10 seconds because of something he was going through, a decision he had to make. I said, baby, why you sound like you're crying? He said, I just felt the urge to call you. I said, why are you calling me? And I, he said, what are you laughing for? I said, nothing. Because I said, God, I even asked for confirmation that you hear my prayer. Because I said, I have faith that you hear me. That's, I, you know what? I'm very cocky. You can say I'm arrogant, but I'm very arrogant in the Holy Ghost. I'm very cocky when it comes to God. Because when I pray, I already expect and that's the key. You got to have faith and expect it and know it and just believe it. I'm so cocky and arrogant before God, not in a bad way that he will knock me out and, 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 and curse me to the dark abyss. I'm talking about I go before him knowing it's already done. I just got to put it in. I just got to vocalize it. I just got to have this conversation with you on what's, what's going down right now. Whether it be my enemies, known, unknown, plots, plans, schemes that people got planned that, that I have no idea, but I keep on picking up in the, in the spiritual realm like, what's going on? Something keep tugging at me about this person. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. This person might be trying to cheat us about this property. Some, man, you know, everything in the dark come out in the light. He reveals all, any and all to me or my husband. My, my husband be like, baby, remember when you was, what? He said, remember when you said, I said, uh-huh, what? He said, it was right. I said, what were you telling me? It ain't me, it was God. But it's like, I said, I already knew. I felt it. It wasn't right. I said, but I needed God to confirm it. I said, and not only do he confirm it, he fixed it. After, after he confirmed it, he fixing it. And that's real talk, and I ain't got to lie. I like, baby, I ain't never had, this is like a burgundy blood, like a yes, wine. You know what it is? I know it's sexy, baby. I like stuff to keep you looking at me. You pose a look at women, you pose a, but when you look at me, I want that special eye just for mommy. And you pose to like me and to look at me because you pose to like, you don't want something that somebody else don't want. You don't been with since 88. Why would you? Hair hat or no hair hat. When she put it together, it all they look good all when she get it all together. And I ain't the rag and, and, and it look like I said, drama-free channel, no profanity, no roasting. I'm not narcissistic. 
because pride cometh before the fall. That's what the, that's what the word says in the Bible. It's that time of evening where it's like, you know how the sun be out, but it's about to, it's like 8, 12. It's funny how when the sun is setting, it gets so bright. And that's why it's, it's like a light shining on me. And it shows that I'm alive. Anytime, people, the sun is shining on your face. Do you know I was talking to a young lady? I didn't understand why at church, but then I understood. A beautiful young lady, beautiful body, beautiful face. It's not about looks. People have problems. You don't know what people are going through. And I got to talking about suicide. And guess what she told me? She said, last night I was about to take my life. I said, what? I said... And then I don't feel stupid. I said, she think I'm just coming up to her talking and running my mouth. Usually I already know. I'd be like, God, to say, go talk to this person or say this or say that. And I'm like, is this you, God? And then he'll confirm it. But this was like, I felt like it was just me. And then I just start talking about this and that and this and that. And I got on suicide, she said. She, and then she couldn't look me in if she said, just last night I was thinking about killing myself. I, but I didn't ask her for what. I started to say for what. It wasn't for me to ask for what. But what I was saying to her, now I understood everything that I said to her. It was reaffirming and confirming. Daughter, God was saying to her, I love you. And I'll send a stranger to you with this conversation that she don't even know why she's saying these things to you. But she brought up suicide to let you know that it was me. And I'm like, that's the first time he caught me off guard that he didn't tell me to talk to nobody. I'm thinking I'm just doing it to be doing it. I'm just like, why do I feel the need to talk to her? I've seen her come to the church before, but I just happened to just, I just had to talk to her and her child. But the point is, and that's none of y'all business what I talked about to the baby about. But everything was on point. And that's why you can say you're an atheist all you want. You better wake up. There's a God, and there's a devil. I've never been a witch, never been a witch. I even have repented, and I'm not gonna repent no more because I hate that I even even did that. That wasn't, I was just being stupid, ignorant, and I was just being rebellious. And I'm just like a bad little child that, but thank God he didn't have to spank my butt and get me in line. Cause I get so rebellious and silly. And that wasn't even cute what I was doing. But I know he said, take down all those videos. And guess what? I found out, I, tr I thought I was saving them. They didn't get saved. So they just go to show you, except for what people may have, what was trying to make fun. Cause when I saw it, I said, Donna, I said, well, let me look. I don't really look at that. Not that, uh, oh, it might hurt me if I'm looking. It said Donna Martinez versus LA. And I'm like, it was, it was Nike Town or somebody. It was like, and I'm not, Nike Town, take it whatever way, baby. I'm not into it. You can roast me, toast me, whatever you think. If that's what floats your boat, shame on you if you're over 18, baby. Because this world about to end and YouTube about to be cut out. So have fun. That's why I'm glad this was always unmonetized on this end. Because if this is the way you was trying to make your money and you didn't have any investments, any don't or or people Patreon channels. If you got a Patreon and PayPal, then you're good. Because if people like your content, they will pay to keep you on. Believe me, I pay to keep certain people on. But um, maybe what Dollar Tree we going? To? Oh, the one. Okay, I don't know which one you're going to. I'm like. If he was a strange, imagine if I got in his car and I'm like, sir, I told you I live over here. No. You ever see those movies? And then the lady go to open the door. There's no locks. Oh, my, let me out. <laughs> you can't get out. Oh, baby. Oh, I put the, um, with the change, I got the receipt, right? Yes. But I, I got to feel it. Well, I already know I ain't got to take these back. I like this dog on. I, you know how that sounds? I like big butts and I can't deny. Well, I like this maroon color bodysuit and I can't deny. With the back open, it's got a, it's not at the top of the back, but in the middle of the back, it's a, it's a circle. Daddy, is that too risque or, the, or you know, is, that, is it okay for you? What? 
Is it too risque? I mean, like, do you mind me wearing? No, I don't. Mind. You would, yeah, but you know, I don't even know what I'm asking. If my, I'm about to say my father. I call him daddy. If my husband didn't want me to wear certain things, or even on YouTube, do you think my husband?